What's up guys, Austin here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. So if you recall, I took a trip out of the country a couple months ago. If you don't remember, roll the slideshow right now. Anyways, I took a ton of photos and I realized that I only posted some on Facebook and I needed another place to show people that I didn't really want to add on Facebook. So today we're building a website and I'm going to show you how. So Wix reached out and said, hey, we know you're a busy guy. We have this website builder that you can use. You don't need to use any code whatsoever and it's really simple to use. So today we're going to be taking a look at Wix.com to see how you can make a website really simply. So right here I have a bit of a challenge. I want to make a travel blog website where people can see the photos that I took on this trip and I don't have to add them on Facebook. So we're gonna see how quickly it takes to make that. So right here, we're on the first page and it just says create a website. I'm just gonna walk you guys through the steps. Sort of a little tutorial right here. Um, so it says, what kind of website do you wanna create? I'm gonna be making a blog. Um, and so right here, there's something really interesting. So there's something called Wix ADI and another thing called Wix Editor. So Wix Editor is sort of what you would imagine this would be. It's the editor where you can just drag and drop things and make the website. But I wanna try something different. This ADI feature, artificial design intelligence, I'm doing this a lot. <laughs> they actually have AI on their website that can make it for you and I'm not sure how this is gonna work. So let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna start with Wix ADI to have this AI make our website, which isn't as insane as it sounds, it's a thing that they have. So first off, we have a travel blog is the type of blog that I wanna create. Um, just ask you some of these questions and then what features do you need? Sell online, book appointments, get subscribers. This isn't YouTube, so I don't think I need any of these subscribers, so let's go ahead and keep going. Then it asked me, what's the name of my blog? So let's just go ahead with something simple, um, like travel with Austin or something. You know, some, something, something simple. All right, let's go ahead and create the name of the website. And then we don't need a business name or anything like that. So right here, we have uh, sort of the main page, all the things that are gonna be in the website. So we can upload a photo, add business email, social media. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all that stuff really quickly. Add in the social media, of course, cause I'm the ultimate plug. All right, so here we are. This is the artificial design intelligence and I'm just gonna go ahead and click start and it should start making the website for me. Let's just see how it is. So first I'm gonna pick my own little theme. Pick clean, cause that seems clean, clean and minimal. All right, so right now it just said it created the initial design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit continue and see what happens. Okay, that's not bad. So this is my website or at least the outline of my website. You can see I only did like five clicks and it knew that I wanted to travel blog. So it already has these pictures for me. Obviously we're gonna update these later, but you can see how thoroughly you know fleshed out this is already it has a contact page for me and a place for people to submit stuff to me and right now this is a fully functioning website right now but we can obviously go ahead and add some stuff to make it more personalized and more fit uh, towards my trip so let's go ahead and see what we can do here all right so something interesting that I just saw right here if you look in the corner right here you hit this play button um, this is an interesting part of the website so we just go ahead and click one of these the entire website design and I'm gonna click do it for me and just watch what happens it's crazy um, so I'm not touching the keyboard right now it's basically walking me through how to make a website and I'm not touching anything. So what's interesting about this feature and what's great about it is that if you need to do anything on your website, this can literally walk you through. So you can see that it just changed the theme for me. And if I'm not someone that's as savvy with a computer, then this is really useful because it basically shows me exactly where I need to go to change the things that I wanna do. So for example, if I wanna change the design, you guys can see that I can do it for me right here and then it'll do it for me. So. I don't know how to explain this, it's magic. All right, so now we're in the main page of the website and I wanna make some changes to actually make this my own website. So figure out how to add some pictures here, just click right here, hit edit, and I think I should be able to replace these photos. So right here, I can replace the photos that are already in the website. So I already uploaded some images from my trip and I can just go ahead and select all the ones that I want to be featured on the website from my images. So let's go ahead and select them. All right, so that actually looks pretty good. And something interesting that they did right here is I didn't write any of this. This text was already here and I've made websites before and they'll just add junk text in. But since they knew that this was a travel vlog, they actually added some text that I actually might just keep on here. So welcome to travel with Austin. I'm thrilled you're here. 
because I have so much to share with you. And it's basically just about blogging and travel, which I didn't write that, which is great because I suck at writing. All right, so we're just gonna add one more thing. Since I went to different countries, I want a different section for each country, just a small gallery of photos that I can show to people. So to do that, all I have to do is go to add and add a section right there. And there should be some sort of gallery area that we can add. So I'll just go here to all. All right, cool. Then we find the gallery and then we can just go ahead and click which one that we want. So this one looks good and we can just drag and drop that section. So we'll just drag it right there and see what happens. All right, so there it is. We have the gallery we can just go ahead and add that for basically every country that I went to and you can see and if we preview the website, we can see exactly how it's gonna look. So here's the front page right there. Discover travel with Austin right down here. We have a gallery of all the pictures that I took in Iceland, which is pretty dope because it just shows them right there. And something interesting that I want to show you guys is that we can add a bunch of different pages. So right here we have home, we have the gallery right here, and it shows that we have the blog down here. Now those are all in one page, but we can also go ahead and add another page. I'll show you guys how to do that, and then we'll wrap this up really quickly because I think I have just about everything I need on this website. So right here, we can just go ahead and add a page. Um, so if I wanted like a contact page or something that I can do that right now, and they actually have recommended pages for you. So if I just go ahead and have a contact page, if I didn't want that on the bottom of this site, I could put it on another page. Um, so let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do like a meet the team, um, which would just be me. Um, but we can just go ahead and add that page right there. And you can see sort of the options that they kind of give you on here. So keep going. So right now we have two pages and something that I want to show you, which is really cool that Wix does is that right now we've pretty much built a pretty functional website. I mean, if we look at the website itself, we have a really attractive cover page. We have more information and we can add blog posts at the bottom and we have contact information along with everywhere that you can reach me, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere else. So something interesting that we didn't even account was the fact that most websites also need a mobile site. And while it's really easy to make websites on the desktop application, it's even easier to make mobile websites because it does it automatically. All you have to do is go to the preview section and you can see that right here on the side, they have a little section that shows you the mobile preview. Um, so it's basically the entire website that we just created and it automatically converts it to a mobile website that you can see right here. So we have all of the information that I just put. So all of my contact information, it has the same photos that I just uploaded and you can see the same things apply here. The little gallery here works on mobile and even the contact information down down here um, it automatically goes to mobile so you don't need to have separate websites for mobile or have to worry about anything else that you need to do on their site they do it all in one so that's about it you guys just saw I made a fully functioning website in like 10 minutes and it's pretty easy to do so if you guys want to check out this website or just visit Wix to make your own website I'll leave a link down in the description but this is a free service everything that I did was just free and you can also upgrade to get more features like with your own domain name etc etc but I'll leave all those links down in the description but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one